I like being black. The only thing I don't like about being black is my hair because it's so nappy. And my auntie did it this morning and it hurt so badly. But I do also want to be black because when white people age or when they get older, they um they age more and black sometimes you when a black person is really fifty, they really look like they're forty or forty one. And also, um we don't get skin cancer as much as they do. Well it well probably some of us because some black people are light skinned but we don't get a lot of skin cancer like them so when we go to the beach we don't really have to put sunscreen on that much but it is it is helpful to put it on Racism oftentimes in the culture is reflected in racism in the language. Pure, fortunate, snowy, top grade. Mm. My skin color is white. Innocent. In terms of uh, those attributes associated with evil are associated with being on the dark side. Dirty. Devilish. Gloomy. Ebony. Color of my skin is black. It seems like all the definitions for white is they're all nice and great and everything. And then all the ones for black, they're just kind of, you know, not evil, but wrong. Hmm. Harmless. Some black people are harmless. Most black people are harmless. I'm black, and I don't think I'm dirty or nasty. Just because you're black doesn't mean you're ghetto from the hood or anything. What we find oftentimes in the, in the American uh, are certainly in the American common usage, but also in, in pretty much in European language basis, is a kind of color coding of good and evil in terms of uh, those attributes associated with evil, not universally, but almost, almost universally, are associated with being on the dark side. And those things associated with good, associated with being on the light, or in light. God named us black and white people. I'm brown, my, my dad told me I'm brown. I'm half black. Yeah. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm Nicholas and I'm Greek. I'm African American and I know that because my mom told me. Some people think I'm Hispanic, more of an American type of thing, that think Hispanic is a race. But it's not, for me, it's not a race, it's all Caucasian. The concept of race may be difficult, so it starts very, very early that we tell children who they are and where, they, uh, where their ancestral home is. I'm from D.C. and my ancestors are from Africa. Well, I think racism means like when you kind of favor against one kind of race. Yeah, I think racism is um, discrimination of another culture, another Perhaps color, it depends what someone's being racist about. Well, in the 1800s, uh, like the KKK, uh, Ku Klux Klan, they were racist uh, against uh, pretty much everyone besides uh, Caucasians, and uh, they like hung them and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a fair injustice to one person by the color of their skin, not by the continent of the character. I've experienced racism. It's not really a good thing to experience. It hurts, it's painful, and it, it kind of, I don't know, it may dimmer the way you are. It may bring your self-esteem down. So when we think about racism, it's sort of any effort that a person takes at an individual, at a social or even at a social structural level, any effort that is taken to sort of stop that another person from expressing themselves uh, in their complete humanity. I'm really proud of my, what I am. Black is beautiful and powerful. I like the way God created me.